so during the process, where is the education voice in, in that kind of process? Because there's the, the PPEs and the competence process and the fact that the investigators use educators and teacher voice and consult with people who, who know, you know what I mean? It's, it's not just at the end of the process, it's all the way through. Thank you. It is a really important part. Um, teachers are in every part of the process mm. and we call them a professional practice evaluator because that's what they're called in law but what they mean is they have to be a currently certificated teacher with lots of experience who we employ to look at matters of competence against the standards and think about what might be needed so again as much as they're employed by the council the criteria for them to do that job is that there's still a current teacher with a practicing certificate and knowledge deep knowledge of of being a teacher and using the standards and making recommendations to support that teacher to you know continue mm. to grow um, the competence authority if they end up in an authority space if that PPE is making that recommendation every step of the way we have got the profession themselves teachers and leaders of the appropriate sector mm. involved in making these determinations I do wonder sometimes if people think, as the chief executive, I sit there and make <laughs> these decisions, well. which would be, um, well, one, impossible, and two, horrific. Um, it's important that people are yeah, doing the job yeah. today and understand the context, the environment, the, the realities, but are really experienced, are making these decisions. So actually, having the profession in this space uh, and part of the process right from the start the changes that have been made is actually deepening that even further and, and taking that more broadly so that you know the profession is acknowledged at every step of the way in the mm -hmm. process that's yeah. really really it's just really neat to hear and I think again affirming to hear about that involvement um, and, and the knowledge that, that teachers bring into that space that will support any teacher facing the discipline process so yeah. No I think that is, look thank you um, you know we've done a lot of training with our own staff with every panel member uh, about mana, about tikanga, about um, manakitanga, about thinking about these are mm. people who have uh, families and communities, that they are highly connected. Um, so we've done a lot of that uh, kind of training to make sure that when the law, you know, when these mm. rules get into place, that actually we are good to our word. Yeah. So we're doing that in parallel. And, and these are teachers who have been around a while, mm, you know, mm, like yourself. Mm. Uh, people who kind of know how things work on the ground. Mm, mm. And it's good to know that, that that's understood, especially I think from the point of view of a leader in that space, that when you hand, you know, a report of mm. a report over to the council, that actually there's some people there who will understand uh, what you what you're offering in that space. Yeah. It's really good to know. Yeah.